Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to change the velocity of a group of MIDI notes in Studio One. So let's say that you have a MIDI performance that you just recorded, like the one we have right here. I'm going to go ahead and press play so we can audition how this sounds. Okay, let's say that you want the very first, the first four notes, okay? You want the first four notes of this passage to be way louder than the rest of the notes. So if you want to do that, you have two options. You could delete this passage and just record it again and make sure that those four notes, you actually hit louder the keys. Or um, Studio One will give you a feature uh, called Velocity that'll let you uh, modify the velocity of the selected notes with a couple clicks. Let's see how that works. So if I double click on the MIDI event, we have our piano roll here. Let's say that I want to modify the velocity of the first four notes. So if I click and drag to select those four notes, now you can see they're highlighted, which means they're selected. So if I want to change the velocity of these four, after they're selected, I can right click and then go to musical functions and under velocity, there's an option that says velocity. If you click there, you have the velocity window. So you have three options here. You have add, multiply, or set all to. So if you do add, you could add, um, if, if you go on to the right side of the slider, you can see it's like in this case, 26%, that's plus, right? It's a positive number. You can go also to the left and go negative. So basically this will tell you how much percentage you want to add velocity wise to those notes. So if you go to the right, that's positive. So you're making it louder. You're, uh, you're adding more velocity. If you go to the left, it's negative. So you're making it softer, which means you're reducing the velocity. So you could do add. You could also do multiply. If you do multiply, that's, there, there's a mul mul multiplication factor. So if you do, let's say, two, basically the velocities are going to be multiplied by two. But if you do 0 0.5, they're going to be half. Okay, they're going to be divided by two, which means they're going to be reduced. You could also do set all two. Set all two means that every single velocity is going to be set to the same amount. In our case, let's do add. Okay, I'm going to do add, uh, let's say 50%. Okay, 50%. So it's going to take all of these and add 50% of them. So they're going to be increased. I'm going to press OK. And boom, as you can see, the four velocities have been um increase by 50%. If we, pre if we press play, we should be able to um, audition those differences. Let's see what happens. Perfect. The audible effect is very obvious. So um, I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much, bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.